cement is cooking at the moment. So what's up guys, Shins here. Welcome back to another episode of the modded series. And as you guys saw in the previous episode, there was a, uh, a bunch of tragic events where we ended up dying because we, you know, once again failed as base builders and we forgot of course because we're humans as you saw at the beginning of the episode me and smoke were currently pickaxing and using a auger our auger of course on the ramps that were here of course they're currently not here as we took them down from this side and the other side oh shit no 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 shut up jesus christ thank you but <laughs> Back to what I was saying, we removed the ramps because I realized that the ramps was what basically what was allowing the zombies to get inside the base and to us. So let me explain. The zombies itself, though the ramp was right here, so it would put it would put them up a block. So that block is on the same level as the blocks inside the base, where we have the little contraption there, so that way we can knock them into the log spikes. Now, since they were levitated one block up, they would just punch it and just basically easily get in so their path in would just go straight in because it's the same height correct me if i'm wrong of course let me know in the comments below but this is how i am currently thinking it because i will explain why shortly but their path in was just straight in because they were elevated so now that there's no ramp here no ramp here of course and no ramp on the other side that we currently took down and we also decided to remove the bulletproof glass that was here and remove it with concrete blocks because smoke wanted to. So I was like, hey, sure, why not? But their path was currently like that because they were elevated. So we removed it and we went to the little campsite that's right here that resets every seven days, of course. And as you can see, we are currently on day 21. So it currently reset. We took all the zombies from all the way over there, which is currently why you see this bag here that bag and then a couple bags all the way down here we took them and we tested it with them so i basically told smoke get inside here with me like this you know we were just going ahead and like after i brought them from all the way over there like and they were decently close i shot and there was like a couple ferros a couple radiators i think it was like one or two radiators of course but i told smoke shoot a bullet right now i'm gonna shoot a bullet also and we're gonna hide back here so when i did that all they did was just stand here now I went around, I ran all the way around, and I still told Smoke to shoot just in case to see if they were going to punch this wall or if they were going to punch this wall right here, who knows, and they did not punch a wall. Now, why am I currently saying that? Because when I ran outside and they all followed me, I started hiding in buildings when after I got really far from them, and he was they were still like around this area, so he was shooting them. And they, their path in, instead of just like hitting that wall, no, they just did this. They went through here like this, normally perfectly fine. They went like this. They got stuck on this wall right here for like a split second, but then they were just standing here. And then that's where like, I was like, yep, see, I realized it. I knew it. I was right. The ramp helped them out. It gave them that, that, like that boost so they could go ahead and just break the wall, just get in. So we decided to remove it, of course. So that way for day 25, they will not have a way to actually get into base this time. Now their pathing will just basically be them coming inside the base, possibly punching this wall right here or getting stuck on the wall, of course, and then just coming over here to where the door's at so we could go in their asses. You know what I mean? Yeah, see those bags are still down there because of the zombies from the campsite. There was a couple zombies, like a, like a couple couple, you know what I mean? So yeah, we replaced the door, of course, as you can see, because they had broken the iron door. And then this door over here, we changed it from a regular iron door that was like a thousand hit points to the steel door. Now, another thing they currently broke was the forge that, as you can see, this was the one that I put the cement in, which doesn't have barely any cement, of course. And then this one also that had 17,000 iron and 20,000 clay just ready to be used and 8,000 brass, which currently does not have it anymore because they broke the forge, of course. So we had to go ahead and use all of our resources that we had once we made the 
two new forges. We had to use all of our resources and throw them in there to start smelting all of it once again. That was a little, you know, a little bit of yapping on my part, but I'm glad I was able to like explain the tragic event, the base overview, what we did and the changes we currently did to the base. Now for day 25, will they get us this time? Who knows? We will never know until that day comes around and we are actually able to fight the horde of day 25. Now, Smoke is just in there AFK. I think he went to go get something. He should be back shortly. My bike is still here. I think I ran <laughs> I ran over my bike when there was uh, the zombies running after me when I came outside with Smoke. I think they tripped over it too. Who knows? But at the moment, that's currently that. Um, today's episode, we're going to just go ahead and be a normal basic one. Grab some resources because we do need a lot. Like I was saying, we currently threw the iron in there. We threw the soil. We used all of our um, stone. We used all of our sand that we had that we got from the previous episode, of course, as you saw in the mine. There, that's just Dunzo, of course. Well, not the previous one, the one before that. That's perfectly fine. Uh, we just got to go ahead and just get, get a lot of resources, of course. Uh, where are we going to get them? I'm not entirely sure. This little pond is like bothering me somewhat, and I want to find a way to actually get rid of it. I will maybe do that someday, just not now, because I want to get the resources as fast as possible. Take a take advantage of this day, because it's still early and bright somewhat. Maybe let's see what Joel might have for us today that he might be selling. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab my Dukes and get all the way over there and see what he has for us in store. All right, so let's go ahead and see what he has for us today. Hopefully he has some interesting things. I'm not sure if he does. What a wonderful day. Yeah. For you, not for me, because, I mean, I died uh, yesterday. So, of course, as per usual, I'm going to go ahead and buy the books. Another thing that I will be buying will be the paint, because, I mean, of course, if we're going to paint the base, we need paint. Hello. It's more than obvious, you know. Uh, let's go ahead and grab the cobblestone rocks, the concrete mix, which we do need, of course. And I think that's it. I think the rest is from things that right, we've sold. Good. So now we just got to go ahead and visit the other traders to see what they currently have for us. Let's go ahead and use you. Use you. I might go get more dukes and then visit those traders. So let's just get back to the base and grab more dukes. I'll probably bring like 20,000 with me just so we can go ahead and buy everything and anything that they might have for us today. Oh, it looks like Smoke's back. Welcome back, buddy. Let's go ahead and grab our dukes. Go ahead and grab it here. 17k. I'll bring 20k. It's all good. Yeah. Oh, ring of diamond. What's this? 5% bartering. And then 5% to one shot any ore. God damn. It's actually pretty nice. So we got the cigar, which is 10%. The ring of greed, which is 5%. And then if we use the ring of predator, that's 20%. Ooh, man. Them offers are going to be fucking spicy. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and start with going to... Let's go to Wrecked first. Because Wrecked, you know, he's the, he's the main man for the weapons. He might have some uh, decent upgrades. Let's go ahead and get to him first. And see what he currently has in store for us. I'm going to go ahead and also take my gas. Because my bike does not have any. Where's my gas at? I think it's over here somewhere. I'm probably blind as shit. Alright, never mind. I found my gas. Here we go. So now, we're going to Wrecked. Go ahead and refuel one more time. Alright, there we go. We're at 100% and we're good to go. Alrighty, so we're currently here. Let's go ahead and just stop right here. Front gate. Man, this rat bike's hella fast. I mean, look, it still kept on going, even me getting off of it. So we're at wrecked right now. Let's see what he has to offer us today. You'd best keep clear of me. So he has some books, which I will be taking, of course. Let's go ahead and take all of you. Now, what else does he have for us today? I would take the gas, but I do not need it at the moment because we have a lot of gas at the base. What I will be taking is your concrete mix, the cobblestone rocks, the crushed sand, of course, the iron. I could go ahead and find it somewhere. So that's that's just fine. The duct tape, I will be taking it. Yes, because that's something I currently do need as me myself. I don't have a lot at the base now. The weapons he has here, tactical assault rifle, steel spear. There's nothing really interesting that we can actually get from him. Ooh, the cement, of course. Come on, we can't leave. He has a dime, ring of diamond for 15k. A sale so, is a sale, even if it's to a scumbag like you. Shut up, your pussy has... I'm not even saying it. Anyways, so if that's... Dude, I could sell this one for 1800 That's really about it. But... 
you can sign up for 15k yeah that's kind of wild if you ask me so let's use these books here quickly here we go 1970 out of 75 32 out of 100 12 out of 75 29 out of 75 and 49 out of 100 so we got all of that set down where we would be going next would be to who's next hugh so let's go ahead and set a tr uh i was about to say trader point a quick waypoint to him oh yeah another thing that i kind of forgot to do in the previous episode was use my skill points so i'm gonna use a uh, two on demolition expert right here i'm gonna go ahead and use one on the perception attribute so that way we can go ahead and use it or use at least one point on quick hands for the spears because no wonder my spears were so damn slow we're gonna go ahead and use that and then the last point we could just go ahead and save it there quickly now let me go ahead and get on my bike we got three well not 3.1 1 1.3 kilometers to go there's a spider monkey there so now i'm just gonna go ahead and go all the way through here because this bike is super fast so i should be there shortly man there's so many damn trees i'm trying not to crash here holy shit because this bike is hella fast too oh god please stop already all right so let's get up here up front here we go let's go ahead and use our spear and this damn lumberjack has man's just over here camping thank you what do you have here you got nothing interested uh you just gotta keep your puffer coat because i really do not want it could you be any louder you trying to wake the dead I'm just trying to buy things from you, man. Let's go ahead and take you. Take all them books there quickly. Thank you. Cause I'm trying to get all my books up. Now, what do we have? 12 gauge explosive fragmentation slug. What the? 4,000 for that? Is it actually explosive slugs? That's the real question. Now that I think about it, that actually has me thinking. But let's see what else does he have here. He has a solar bank, which we currently do not need. Oh, of course, the cement as per usual. The concrete mix, the cobblestone rocks. Now, I think we have everything we currently needed from you. Because I'm just mainly looking for resources, because that's what we mainly need. Uh, everything else looks useless, except those fragmentation rounds, which are very interesting, honestly. Are but, we done here? Yes, sir. Do you have any jobs? Oh, these are all tier ones. Okay, never mind. Let's go ahead and... Oh, wait, did I see a cracker book one? No, no cracker books. Never mind. So now who's next on the list? Oh, we got our treasure map that we could go do. So let's do that, and then we could go and head to Bob. Oh, boy. Today is just an adventure all around the damn map. Let's go ahead and get on our bike and get all the way to our treasure map here quickly. Alrighty. Oh, wait, 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 wait. It's back here. It's back here. Chill, buddy. Alrighty, so we're currently here. I want to use my... I use my acid to see if this will actually do something to the snow. Oh, it won't do anything to the snow, but it will spawn all these motherfuckers here. That's for damn sure. Holy shit! Is all my guns reloaded? No, they're not. Oh boy. Y'all really wanted the smoke, huh? There we go. So I think we're currently good now. So let's just go ahead and take the coffee here. Oh yeah, I forgot to use my books because I just left such in a rush. So. Let's go ahead and use all of them here. So the progress is good. Progress is good. So I'm going to head uh, start digging and find our little treasure. Alrighty, so here we go. I currently found it here. It was in this little corner. Holy shit, it took me a while. I got some soil just from that, so which I will be keeping. Let me open this bad boy up here. Jesus Christ, I lost so many lockpicks trying to do this shit, but hey. Hopefully it's worth it. Ooh, a NV4. And it does 53 damage being a level 1. Okay, that is wild. That is criminal right there. Holy moly. Let me pull that into my inventory to see. Ooh, that, that sounds nice. Let's go ahead and shoot this bad boy. Oh, damn. My aim is fucking atrocious, that's for sure. Damn, it sounds pretty nice if you ask me. Damn, 53 points of damage. Imagine this with a couple of attachments. Oh, it would actually go wild if you ask me. The best part is that it uses 762. But for now, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going uh, to modify it here just to take the ammo out of it. And I'm going uh, to keep it in my inventory for now. This is insane. What are these weapons, man? Anyways, let's go ahead and get to Bob, which he is our last stop. Or I'll probably stop at Gen 2. Who knows? But we're going to Bob right now. 
and then we're gonna go to Jen, and then we're gonna go back to the base, cause I don't wanna be out late at night. So let me just get over there quickly. Alrighty, so I got here instantly. Holy shit, I got here flying. So what's good, Bob? Let's see what you got here for us today. Is your ATM full? It is not. What's good, man? I feel like you're the only nice one in this damn map. Maybe, who knows? But, you have anything good for us today? That's the real question. You got these books, which I will be taking off your hands, of course. What else do we have here? We have cobblestone rocks, okay. We got some cement. There we go. What else do we have here? I think we're currently good. The SMG auto turret, I'm, I was thinking about taking it off your hands, but... That price is a little bit way too high if you ask me. You do have a couple of shotguns here that are interesting. The car 15, the M59, you got two of them right there in your inventory. Concrete mix, of course, you know, come on, you know we're taking that. And he has rings of diamonds. Bro, what is it with these like traders in the ring of diamond? I don't get it. I think that's currently everything that we need at the moment. Now what's left is to go to Jen, yes, sir. Now the last stop, last pit stop is Jen. Let's go ahead and drop a waypoint at her. Let's get on our bike and head over there quickly before we encounter. Oh shit, that's a dog. I I'm rip dip dipping out of here. Uh, so we arrived here at Jen, our last pit stop. We got here pretty fast. Let's just go ahead and check what she has in her inventory. So then we can go ahead and get back to the base. Dead. Sure do. Ooh, Grandpa's awesome sauce at 1K. The bet I'm taking that. Let me take all these books off your hands here quickly. See what else do you have here? I don't see anything else interesting here. The fish tacos, which I currently do need food, so I'm definitely taking that off your hands. Let's go ahead and take the cements with the cobblestone rocks. Dude, my inventory is packed right now. M870 police shotgun? That is interesting. The AK-47 machine gun, which is currently a level 5, and the tactical assault rifle is a level 2 and deals more damage. That is pretty interesting but it's perfectly fine. Is there anything else you have here for us today? Uh, she does not. Nope. I think that's really about it. Yeah, we got everything we currently needed, which was basically the I books. I feeling better. Thanks. The books, which I'm currently going to use. Here we go. And then the resources, which was what we mainly needed by a lot. Now, the awesome sauce, I'm definitely taking it off your hands also, because I mean, for 1K, pshaw. You know I'm taking that real, come on. You know it more than anybody. Now, I think that's All really it. Then. Oh, trust me, I will, especially with the zombies that are trying to kill me right now. So, next up is the casa. We go to casa and then we're set. Where's that cop? I'm gonna kill the cop. Go ahead and hit him here. Actually, I hit him. Well, I'm gonna hit him with the explosive. Let me just turn off my flashlight. Get a little bit closer to him. Ooh, why does it look like this? Oh, there we go. Boom. There we go. He's down and out. And I know he was feral too. So there's that. Check him out. He only had a pumpkin pie. But, don't get me wrong, the pumpkin pie is good. But I'm going to go ahead and eat it because uh, my food is currently uh, low at the moment. It's almost there. So now I'm going to go ahead, get to the home, and drop all these materials off. Currently where I got my first death, I'm just currently passing it up while going home right now. Man, this rat bike is so fast. If this is this fast, imagine with the vehicle supercharger mod once we get it. Oh boy. This is literally gonna fly across the map. That's perfectly fine. I mean, we still have to craft other vehicles, of course, like the Dodge Charger, the helicopter, of course. I wanna I wanna craft not the gyrocopter, if not the helicopter. I feel like that would be amazing if you ask me. Now, uh, let's just up you, because it's currently nighttime. Let's see. Oh, yeah, did the cement finish? I think it did. Yes, here we go. So we got that cement. How much can we make? Oh, we need a lot of stone and sand, which is something <laughs> we currently do not have. I probably do have the stone itself, but not the sand. Oh, wait, yeah, see? So I do have the stone, not the sand, the envy gun. I'm going to go ahead and throw it in this chest for now with the tactical assault rifle and then the bullet tips and everything. I'm just going to go in this chest over here with the buckshot for now. Over here, you could go there. 
Because, I mean, I don't really need all this ammo at the moment. And then the Dukes are just going to go back into their respective chests, of course, with the Grandpa's Awesome Sauce that I'm going to leave in there just for now. As for the rest, yeah, I think I'm currently good at the moment. I'm just going to have to fully finish organizing everything at the moment. Just currently, you know, make sure everything looks good. The soil in there, the cement and everything. Yeah, I'm going to have to possibly go for a little bit of uh, sand because we don't have any and if i want to make all that concrete mix i gotta go get some sand so i'm gonna go ahead and leave it up to here thank you guys so much for watching today's episode if you guys enjoyed comment what you think below about my explanation regarding the base and the pathing of the zombies let me know if i am right about that or if i am wrong and they have a different type of pathing so make sure to subscribe turn on the bell to receive notifications for videos like this one and i'll see you guys in the next one take it easy